everybody, it's Jonathan with Curto's Ring of Fire. I bid you welcome to another video post. Today, I'm going to focus on the question, how long should a DCS grill last? And I focus on DCS because it's one of the top brands that we sell. And um, it's funny because it, when talking about DCS, I can give you very extreme answers uh, to that to that uh, question. To that question. Um, um, I can tell you, uh, you know, again, this is a true story I, about a DCS grill that lasted no more than 48 hours. Um, that was due to pilot error. Um, uh, I've also had many, many instances um, of folks that come in looking to replace a DCS grill that they've had for north of 15 years, 15, 16, 17 years. And by far, um, in, in terms of all the grills that we sell, when you do hear about somebody coming in with a grill that they've had for that long, more times than not, it is a DCS, okay? Um, and I probably running second to them are the old school Weber Genesis grills that used to be built in this country. Um, as you may or may not know, they, the, the, the current Weber Genesis grills are nothing uh, compared to, to the old ones. Um, we don't need to discuss that in detail right now. But nevertheless, um, the DCS goes, how long should they last? That is all gonna be dependent upon how you treat it, okay? And the, in the situation where the grill lasted two days, um, which I just talked about in a recent video, that, that girl was um, uh, brought out to the Hamptons and was used um, for a party that was like right off the Atlantic Ocean and had prevailing wind blowing to the backside of it, which is an absolute taboo, no way, no how, don't do it. Um, you had the grill on, um, very powerful burners. You had prevailing Atlantic Ocean wind blowing to the back of it. All the heat was pushed forward to the manifold. The grill melted out um, by the middle of the weekend. Okay, um, they should have never done that. Um, the folks that come in and their DCS grills have lasted, again, 15, 16, 17 years, they took good care of them. They covered them, they cleaned them for the most part, uh, maybe not after every cook, but they were somewhat uh, fastidious about, about doing that. And, um, you know, people are always asked, well, how long is it gonna last? How long is it gonna last? What do I have to do? And it's like, I always say, clean it and cover it. I mean, the two C's. And what would probably make sense to really make this investment to, to, to get the most out of it is aside from covering it and aside from doing your scrape down after cooking, which literally takes no more than 30 to 45 seconds, um, I would actually have somebody come in once, if not twice a year, to do uh, a tune-up. And a tune-up would entail a thorough cleaning. Um, uh, that would also entail blowing out the burner tubes. So there's uh, like no spider webs building up in there. Um, and just a, a, a thorough, you know, cleansing. And that tune-up will, again, certainly help extend the lifespan. Um, the thing on these grills, and it's not just DCS, it's, it's, it's any grill for that matter, that they have the highest incident rates are going to be the igniters. So you have to go into the grill purchase saying, my igniters are going to go. The question is, when? And um, you need to purchase a product that you know parts are in stock. There's good customer service. I mean, I'm going to make another video about the absolutely extraordinary, phenomenal customer service that DCS um, has been providing recently and it needs to be spoken to and it needs to be broadcast out to the public because um, they're actually setting a, a new level in terms of customer service excellence. So look for something on that coming up soon. But you wanna know like if your igniters go, you can call the place that you bought it or you can call DCS directly and have them sent to the house and have service come and, and, and take care of them. Um, the other things like the burners, the grates, that's on you. I mean. Uh, igniters are going are gonna to burn out just because of wear and tear, but your grates, your burners, that's about you babysitting them. That's about you making sure that when things drip down, um, you clean it out. That's about scraping, you know, um, residue off of the grate so they don't start to have like funky chemical reactions going on in there. You don't start attracting vermin to the inside of the grill uh, because there's things to eat. I mean, it's just, I know it sounds disgusting, but these are all things that need to be done. Um, you know, if you're going to buy a burner, like a 400 to $500 grill, then treat it like shit and then just get a new one in one or two years, I get it. But when you're making investments in brands like DCS, it's an investment, it needs to be taken care of. So that's, that's the key point. So if you want me to throw a number out there with the proper um, 
the proper use and care, I would say that you should, without a doubt, get north of 10 years, uh, you know, say 12 years plus on these grills. Remember, the DCS Series 7 um, is very, very similar to those old school DCS grills that have those like Methuselah-like lifespans on them. The Series 9 has more things built into it with the lighting that might go, you know, off the rails. But um, again, they'll have the parts to take care of them. But aside from that, the chassis, the burners, et cetera, et cetera, those things are all identical. So if you have any questions about purchasing a DCS grill, questioning about the lifespan of that grill or any other ones, you can hit me up down there. There's the email. Um, if you're in the Tri-State area, come on down and visit. The water's always warm. Thank you very much, folks.